we've always had a very close relationship with uh, Kevin. Um, so uh, he've asked us a bit of advice on, on which kit to use uh, um, and how to go forward with this project. Um, I know Kevin is quite quite technical in your research. It's quite a lot on yeah, what he wants for his room and, and, and which products to use. Um, so I think at that time as well, we recommended uh, using the single cat uh, solutions. We were just about uh, to release uh, and to ship. Um, so it was right on the cusp because um, he was one of the first ones uh, to use these type of uh, uh, products. Um, but we were quite confident that they were going to work and, and, and um, I think we were going to offer the right support as well uh, because yeah, it is a new product, a new release. Um, so, but at the talking stages we, we did recommend that kind of product and it did go for that in the end. Um, but Kevin already already knew a lot of our equipment um, because he used it in this uh, the smaller Wimpool uh, lecture theatre. Um, because he had met one of my colleagues, uh, David Jones, um, he's, he's, well, he's my manager. Uh, he met him at a trade show um, and then because we, uh, we offered uh, uh, free technical training, um, which is it's quite a it's, yeah, product agnostic training. Um, we talk about yeah, what is a DVI signal, HDMI signal, EDID, HDCP. Um, so then we, we offered that training to, to Kevin um, because yeah he, he's quite fond of, of educating his his, uh, his AV team. Um, I think yeah uh, he also won the in-house AV uh, AV award uh, for that. Uh, so I think training is is, is uh, uh, one of yeah, on the top of his list. Uh, so we offered that training, um, and I think from from yeah from uh, from there out uh, he liked our attitude towards AV. Um, because we were quite an you know, engineering company, um, so I think then the decision was made. Um, although you look to other products as well, together with uh, Port Marshall from AVM Impact, they went to see at some uh, other installations. Um, but in the end, um, because we were at that time only the only company who could do 33 by 33 for this smaller Wimpool lecture theatre, uh, they went for our equipment. Um, and I think because they were pleased, they used it as well at the, the Guy Wittel Auditorium. Uh, because those two systems are now uh, hooked up with each other as well. Um, so I think that's a little bit of story on, on how we, we met Kevin and how we got involved in, in, in the project. So what, what um, specific equipment did you supply and why was it chosen? Oh, we supplied um, one of our MXFR 65 frames, um, so which is you know, it's a 65 by 65 matrix. Um, it's the same chassis as our MXFR80. Uh, it's the same chassis, but limited in, in, in hardware and software. Um, but it does give the flexibility of being able to, to upgrade. Um, then I think we supplied some, uh, some local input boards um, for uh, uh, DVI and HDMI. Um, can't remember if we supplied local for, for VGA. Um, but we did supply as well some um, dual cat twister pair uh, solutions as well on input and on output side. Um, on input side, using then the UMX uh, TP TX100R, um, which is what I think, yeah, one of our best selling uh, uh, sort of meeting room auditorium uh, smaller products um, because uh, you can extend a VGA, DVR, HDMI, and YV um, over those two CAT cables uh, uh, plus the audio as well. Uh, so it's a very popular um, uh, device. Um, then yeah, the newer products that we recommended was the single cat solutions um, because Kevin needed to extend uh, for a longer distance. Uh, I think it was a little bit over 60 meters, um, which is right at the cusp of the limit of the dual cat solutions. So that's why um, we recommended the single cat solutions. Um, although they can easily handle 150 meters for a Cat 5e uh, for full HD. Um, so for that 60 or a little bit over 60 meters, um, we were very confident that they were, were going to work. Um, yeah, and I think yeah, he was the first. Well, he was definitely the first one in the UK uh, to use these boards, um, and it all went well really. Uh, besides a, a, a firmware upgrade uh, that we had to do at the time, um, but yeah, the, the, these products are running fine actually.